Go ahead, Dojo. Get that ball. Where's that ball? Right here. Get that ball. Woo! Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, it's a good boy. Hey, guys. How's it going? I uh, coming to you guys now for a little update. Basically, on the 99 GC body, as you guys can see, there are a lot of parts that are painted. Yeah, they're all ready to go. Rear bumper here is all ready to go. I got it hung, you know, so I can keep it up and off the ground so she don't get scratched and whatnot. Still got to be wet sand and buffed. As you guys can see, the fenders are done. They're already flared. They're assembled. The, uh, the back sides are all bedlinered as well. Everything's all completely sealed. Everything's done. So you don't have to worry about corrosion or anything like that. Um, also, as well, you can see the... Guys, those are washers on the backers of your rivets. The reason why you put the washers on there is so you don't have any pulling, so any issues like that. But uh, other than that, guys, you guys can get an idea here. You guys can, uh, can see right here. This is the edge of your fenders. I do all this as well. I put all this in bed liner, you know, and then I run my tape line down and then I paint over it. You know, you can kind of get an idea. You can probably zoom in and see where the where it ends. But the reason why I do this is because of rock chips and a lot of issues from driving down the road. You'll see a lot of rust, and especially in the GC bodies, a lot of the bottom of the fenders they'll tend to rot out here. You know, to get rid of this, obviously you bed liner the backside because. They actually rot from the inside out. It's actually not the outside in. Um, mainly for the sheer fact that a lot of the GC bodies have, uh, you know, skirts and they're kind of high off the ground anyway, so they don't really get too much damage on the bottom. But in order to get them to, you know, get to this stature here, this is, you know, that's about as clean as it's going to get. You know, that's, we're going for show car, guys. You know, all the moldings, all the body moldings are all done. Um... You know, they're, they're basically door bumpers, you know, so if anybody bumps your car, it's going to hit these moldings first before it hits the paint. The uh, side skirts are done. Um, still got a bunch of pieces here and there. You know, the big uh, STI style, you know, high roof scoop, or excuse me, hood scoop, you know, and so on. Uh, went ahead and painted the OEM roof scoop as well, just in case if you ever wanted to go with a front mount down the road. He's got a paint match roof scoop that you can just put the stock one back in there and uh, put the front mount on there. I think that's something that he ends up wanting to do later on anyways. Um, also got the mirrors. The mirrors are painted also as well, you know, and a couple other pieces. Um, clutch, pressure plate, and then we've got the blackout headlights, the fog lights, the blackout um, turn signals, you know, and so much and so on. Um, this is actually just my brand new pit bike engine. Um, the reason why I got that is actually for for this. I, I custom made a, a drift trike. You know, it's kind of hard to see, but that's something I'm going to end up finishing later on down the road, guys. I'm going to end up painting that 74F just like the same color as the blue GC outside, and I'm probably just going to end up putting Subaru down the side of it and kind of make it like a, a Subaru drift trike. You know, I just I think it's pretty cool. It'd be nice to take it to car shows and you know, and then maybe like put around on it just so. I'm lazy, I don't have to walk. Uh, you guys can see the hood's done. Uh, the hood's already done. The only thing that I pretty much have left for the GC body for the 99 white one is going to be the front bumper, the deck lid, and the two doors. I believe that's it. You know, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I got to pull off the hinges. Uh, if you guys saw my very first video, they, they got a little bit of rust on them. So, that corrosion's not going to fly with me. I just pull them off. You know, like I said, I just sand them down. Um, I hit them with a, uh, a blast gun. So I'm going to sandblast them. Then I'm going to go through them. I'm going to epoxy coat them. We'll paint them, base coat them, and then uh, we'll do all that at the same time as I shoot the bumper and whatnot. The bumper for the front is a big fog front bumper, guys. It is a 99 RS, so they definitely came with the big fog front bumpers. Uh, my car is a 98 RS. Now, it did come with a big fog bumper, guys. Don't think because it's a 1998, it didn't come with the big fog bumper. It absolutely did. It was a late 98. It was really a 99, but it's a pre-early or late release, I guess. If uh, I mean, obviously, uh, that's another video. I'll be showing you guys the manufacturer date of the car and whatnot, so you guys can actually believe me. And uh, actually, I've actually got the bumper. It's right there on the floor, guys. It's real. It's 
a big fog front bumper. It's the original. You know, it's the one that came with the car. And guys, I'm the second owner. So I know. I got to talk to the guy. I, I, I picked the guy's brain apart on this car before I bought it. And he didn't even want to sell it. It took a long time to convince this guy to sell me that car. And I finally got it. But hey, just uh, real quick, guys, this is an update. You know, you guys get an update of where I'm at right now. I mean, there's parts all over this place. I don't want to show you too much of my basement just because of the sheer fact that it's, uh, it's a mess. I got parts everywhere. So if you guys like what you see, subscribe. You know, if, if you don't have that notifications clicked on, go ahead and click that on. I'll let you guys know when I do the next uploads. Subarus only, guys. Only the cars with the stars. Have a good day.